In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to put together a board. Um, you don't have to stick to the default settings that Trello gives you. So let's first visit what those default settings look like. If you create a new board, you give it a title, and you get these three categories, to do, doing, and done which in theory makes sense because you have tasks and each card could be devoted to a particular task. On the left-hand list, these sections are called lists. The left-hand list would just have things that haven't been done yet. The middle list would have things that you're working on and the right-hand list would have things that are finished. Uh, but I think that I've come up with what might be a better arrangement for our purposes. And so one of the things that I've been toying around with, uh, don't tell anyone, is um, coming up with a new way of managing the USC Upstate website. And I thought about, okay, so what if I were to approach this project with the same workflow that I'm asking you guys to do? And I, this is what I came up with, and I'm not claiming this is perfect, but it's something I would encourage you to consider. I have these lists, ideas to research, to contact, to draft, to review, to revise, and then finally, done. And what I've done in each one of these lists is give them all their own color. So things that need to be researched are green, people who need to be contacted are yellow, and then parts of the document that need to be drafted are orange. And that way, once it's been shifted, once everything is over in the done list, I'll be able to tell which came from which original list just by the color that it is. So, uh, for example, um, here's an idea. USC Upstate should gradually switch to using a WordPress-based website. That's an idea. And if I click on that card, I get this large shot of the card and I can add things. Um, WordPress is a free and open source content management system uh, and Trello takes advantage of a markdown system or a markup system called markdown uh, and if you click on this link you'll learn more about it it's similar to HTML but it's supposed to be much much simpler so if I want to make this a bulleted list for example I type an asterisk WordPress is a free and open source content management system that's my first bullet point um, and then I'll add the Home uh, site is, that's very badly phrased, but you understand what I'm getting at, www.wordpress.org. And then I click Save, and I have these bullet points, and I have that link there. Um, that's just an idea that I've got. And you'll notice that what's visible here is not the full content of the card. If you click on the card, you'll see there's more stuff here. Um, now, somebody else that I'm collaborating with might come, if I share this with them, they could come and they could leave a comment here, and there could be a conversation that takes place. I can add a due date. I can say, you know, um, this should take place by a certain time. These are just ideas, so I don't think they necessarily deserve due dates, but uh, there are various things that you can do. When you're done with it, when you want to get rid of it, you can click Archive and it will disappear. Now over here, I just came up with a bunch of questions I need answers to. What colleges and universities already use WordPress as a CMS, or content management system? That's something that needs to be done. Now, let's imagine that I have four or five people in my team over here. I'm just going to do this for the sake of this exercise. Don't worry, Sheena, Cheryl, Cody, and Brittany, and Alyssa. I will remove you guys later. All right, so I'm collaborating with these such smart students. And what I want to do, I've got one, two, three, four questions that need to be answered. I'm going to say, Cheryl, I want you to work on what colleges and universities already use WordPress as a CMS. And can you have that for me by the end of the week? Let's say Friday at, you know, by the end of the work day, that will be 4.59 p.m. All right, now, you see there's the visual representation of Cheryl, that's what she's been assigned. And let's say I assign Cody to find some other large organizations and I give him a deadline. That's not Cody, that's Brittany. And if I grab Cody and I say, figure out, find out what our current CMS is, and I ask Sheena to figure out who are the people on campus who have to approve this. 
um, then I'm going to contact. These are I'm just going to a list of people that I want to talk to who are going to have more information about this. I'm going to give myself the task of contacting them. I'll okay now here. So this this list could grow. This could be lots and lots of people, and then gradually others in the group would be assigned to contact them, and they'd be given a deadline and things like that. Now what I've done here is just take the various sections from the proposal template that I shared with you all in Google Docs. And for each section, I made a separate card. And if you click on one of the cards, introduction for example, you see I've grabbed some of the information from the template that says these are the things that need to go into the introduction. I explain the purpose of the proposal, describe the problem or situation being addressed, make clear why the situation needs to be addressed. Uh, those are the things that should go into the introduction. I'm going to write the introduction myself. Uh, context. Let's compare our website to the websites of other schools. Let's discuss the history of our website. Uh, what is a content management system and what are BuddyPress and WordPress? I'm going to entrust Cody with writing that part. Um, stakeholders, data, all of these things are things that um, are in the template itself. So let's have Alyssa write about the stakeholders. We'll have Sheena write up the data analysis. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, once I'm done with my introduction, I'm going to drag that over to the to review part. And then there'll be somebody whose job it is to review the different sections that have been written. Okay? And then once they have reviewed it and made whatever comments they want to make, they will drag it over to the revise part. And then it's my job again to revise it. Now let me, let me back up one step. One thing I could do here with the to review part is I could ask Cody to review what I wrote in the introduction. And then when Cody's done, he could move it over to the revise. He could remove himself, whoops, sorry. He could remove himself from that and leave it for me to do the revision. Once I do the revision, I can move it over into done. All right, so what I want to do, I'm not saying you all have to use this exact format. But what I am saying is you should try to do something a little bit more nuanced or a little bit better designed for your purposes than just the static or just the default to do, doing, and done. Think about how you can take the big project and break it up into small parts. So under to research, for example, think about all the stuff you don't know. What do you need to know in order to write about this topic? Break it down into small parts and assign each small part to a different person. Um, when you think about who you need to contact, make a card for them. So here for Luke Van Wingerden, for example, I've got his title, I've got his email address, I have his phone number, and I have his office address. Um, similarly, break up the document into multiple parts and assign different people in your group to write it. Uh, work out deadlines, work out a calendar, all that good stuff. Hopefully, this makes sense. Um, and if it doesn't, you should bring it up in class and we'll, we'll talk about it some more. Now, you'll notice that these people have cards now associated with them. In the first screencast that I did, I talked about how if you go and look at your profile, now you can see where over here, you know, on any page when you're not inside a board, you've got your avatar and then this menu underneath. If you click on cards, you'll get a list of the stuff that has been assigned to you. So here, for example, it says, under Create New USA Upstate Website, I have been assigned these three tasks. And it currently doesn't have any deadlines, but if it did have a deadline, it would tell me. So this is why I want you all to be using Trello. It's one of many project management software tools available to you. Um, it helps keep track of who's doing what and when certain things are due. Spend some time learning how to use it. Spend some time setting it up for your group's purposes. Spend some time talking with your group about how you want to set it up. And if you have questions or if you need some help or advice, please do not hesitate to contact me.